have to go, Art. Oh, okay. You, you said you're hungry? I think I have some fruit snacks left over from lunch. No, I... Goodbye. I'll keep putting the flyers up and looking for Chewy. We'll find him. Uh, thanks, Hart. I mean, I mean, Art. What is happening? Gotta get away from this. Somewhere quiet. <sighs> Phew. Hello. Welcome to the library. Oh, uh, thanks, Mrs. Tracy. You know I've been in here before, right? Not many times. Can I help you with something today? Well, do you have any books about vampires? For a project. What's your project about? Vampires. Right. Not going to be any more specific? Nope. Hmm, let me see what I can find. Thank you. Oh, and do you mind if I use my phone to record something for the vampire project? As long as you're not too loud. How does Mina do this? Reporter's recorder. Entry one. Lucy's... losings? Well, I really am losing hard today. I'm here in the library. Getting away from people and doing research on vamps, I guess. Wondering what's going to happen to me at sundown. Maybe how to stop it? Because if we can't do anything before the sun sets, I guess it's... inevitable. Dr. VH asked me to keep track of my symptoms, so here it goes. My fangs are back, so I have to smile even less than usual. And I swear I could hear Art Holmwood's heart beating and feel the blood circulating in his veins. Trying to fight those kinds of bloodthirsty urges. Is there such a thing as a vegan vamp? (sighs) I do wonder, though, if I'm technically undead. Does that mean I have access to other dead people? Like I could talk to my dad again? Ugh, the heartbeat. It's back. Lucy? (gasps) Hey, Mom. GZN Shows presents Nina and Lucy's Guide to Slaying Dracula. Best, loosely... On the classic novel by Bram Stoker, Chapter 10, The New Vamp in Town. Jonathan, I'm going to skip study hall to stay on this Vlad thing. You in? I can't cut class to look for a vampire. Even a former vampire. It's study hall, and he's your friend. I've never skipped study hall. Well, neither have I. But this is important. Like, life or death important. The sort of thing getting out would be very bad for my class president image. So would letting Lucy fully turn into a vampire and not doing anything to stop it. And now we're late. Come on, Mina. (gasps) Jonathan, look. What is it? Uh, the door. Yeah, it's a door. So? An open door. To the basement. Uh Uh-huh. I think that's where Vlad is hiding. Why would he hide there? He loves it down there. Says it reminds him of home. He's crazy old. He's got to be a creature of habit, right? That was the bell, people. Oh, no. It's Principal Quincy. He's going to have a fit if he catches us without hall passes. Hurry, you go. I'll distract him. Are you sure? Let the record reflect that I helped you and Lucy in your time of need. I'll be sure to note that in the official record. All right, go. Why? Because I can't. Mom! Is something wrong? Why are you covering your mouth? Just a cold sore or something. Let me take a look. No. I mean, I'm just off, that's all. Going through some changes, I guess. Nothing to worry about. Well, sweetie, I have plenty of pamphlets about our hormonal changing bodies and- Ew, gross. No, Mom. That's not what I meant. I'm fine. Just feeling different. Uh, probably because of the cold weather. Okay, well, you know you can tell me anything. I don't know about that. It's true. And you'll love me no matter what? Of course. Without question. Even if I became a monster? (laughs) Hun, you need to read more nonfiction, but yes, obviously I would still love you. Thanks, Mom. Shh! 
quiet in the library. Sorry, Mrs. Tracy. Oh, shove a book in it, Tracy. I knew I got my sass from you. Don't you forget it. Oh. I need to get back to my office, but we'll talk later. Yeah. Love you. Mom, I'm a vampire. See? That wasn't so hard. Just say it, Lucy. Show me your hall pass, Mr. Harker. No offense, Quincipal. Cool nickname, BT Dubs. But hall monitoring seems beneath your principalian responsibilities. As class president, perhaps I could talk to you about some rebranding ideas. Are you buttering me up? Um, I... Like a human corn cob? Hold the salt, though. Watch my sodium intake. Sunflower seed? Uh, n no thanks. Maybe I could help you with your rebrand, and you could help me with my speech for the pep rally. You're such a good public speaker, after all. You're right. I am. You make good points. I'm not cheap, Mr. Harker. You see, I used to write speeches for the likes of Obama, mm -hmm. Gandhi, mm -hmm. and Heather DeBro. Uh -oh. At least I dreamt I did. Oh, my. Reporter's Recorder, entry number 571, Mina's Musings. I made it to the basement, thanks to Jonathan Harker, our esteemed class president. Noted in the official record. What was that? Ugh, I am not in the mood for creepy lullabies today. The Thomas triplets? Seriously? What are you guys doing down here? What are you doing down here? I asked you first. This is where we spend study hall. Singing lullabies? You have your hobbies, we have ours. All right, I won't get in your way then. Proceed. Time to find that old gross refrigerator Vlad loves so much. I bet the coward is hiding in there. And if he's not, well, I'll never stop looking for him. Nobody turns my best friend into a vampire and gets away with it. Where is it? I know it was in the far corner over by the rusty filing cabinets, just past the questionable floor seats. Aha! I found you, you blood-sucking... Ah! Heard of knocking? You don't get the Mina with manners anymore, Vlad. Ugh. It's already hard enough to get some shut-eye with those triplets singing. What year is it? Still 2023. Wait. You have fangs. You're pale. Thank you for noticing. Are you a vampire again? Please, do not remind me. Vlad, what happened? <sighs> there I was, enjoying my first human night of sleep in over a century. And I woke in the middle of the night to find I was a vampire again. Someone stole the amulet off me, right off my neck as I slept. What? The amulet is missing? I'm so sorry, Mina. You and your grandfather trusted me with the Dory Stone, and I lost it. I came down here to lick my wounds and hide in shame. I, I, I should have known you'd find me. If you brought a stake, I accept my punishment. Vlad, I'm not here to stake you, but I am really mad. Perhaps you should let me hide out in this pathetic refrigerator coffin for eternity while I wallow in my despair? Yeah, well, that won't help anyone. I get how you feel. You understand what it's like to be an eternal being who finally came close to becoming a real boy only to have it snatched out of your undead hands, thereby relegating you to the smelly school refrigerator that was never properly cleaned out, so now your nice linen suit smells like old milk? No. Not exactly. But I know what it's like to be down, to lose something, or someone, you care about. It's about picking yourself back up, finding something else to live for. Here, get out of the refrigerator and come back upstairs. You really do smell like old milk. I get being upset about losing the treasure, but why'd you have to take it out on Lucy? Can you reverse it before sundown? Or did you turn her before- I don't know what you're- Vlad! Mina! Up here! Oh! Hey, Art! What's going on? I'm helping Lucy look for Chewy the Rat. Putting up flyers. You should check the kitchen. Do you know which way she went? I think she went towards the library. 
Thanks. Sure thing. See you later. You might want to hang back a minute, Vlad. I don't think she's going to be too happy to see you. Why? Lucy and I are friends. Friends and... don't turn their friends into... What's he doing here? I thought he wasn't hiding. Lucy, you... Your pallor. Get away! Oh no, your fangs grew back. Yeah, no kidding. Who did this to you? Uh, you did? Me? No, no, I, I didn't do this. I most certainly would not wish this curse upon anyone else. What? But if you didn't turn me into a vampire, who did? I'm Siri Marrero. And I'm Jenna Ducanay. And, and we, we play Mina and Lucy in Mina and Lucy's Guide to Slaying Dracula. For more great shows, visit gzmshows.com. That was a good oh, one. That was a nice job. Shh, it's starting. GZM Shows. Imagination.